Now, I'm gonna be honest, a part of me really is looking forward to Go. I, I just feel like he's going to be somewhat insane, especially again for the first SSR breaker um, or tank, as you could say. So, yeah, I have high hopes. I feel like the developers will deliver. Now, just before I get ahead of myself, I just quickly want to throw this in here. So, Alpha um, kind of stated that from a source that Alpha uh, has contact with, um, they've informed us that even though Go has weak break, it was still going over to say Go was better than an example tank of a character, Jinjo, of course, which is a buffed up uh, good tank breaker. So, to say that even though Go has weak break, it, it still Go is still being classed. It, it seems that the percentage were a bit different. Um, now, if they change him even more due to community reaction, he will be broken. I'm, I'm expecting some craziness from uh, this character. I really am. Uh, in terms of the breakage, the damage output, and the way that he's going to kind of work perfectly alongside with where light is at right now, including like the light meta kind of being caked more towards crit, um, I think he will be a perfect addition. And if anything, probably the best or one of the best breakers in the game that's where i'm leaning towards um, especially with like the, the the latest look that we've seen of him through the previous um stream being the jp one and then of course in seven hours or eight hours time we're gonna get the english live stream happening and then from there i guess we'll get that full-on confirmation now i didn't i didn't mention this but like i just kind of wanted to see if they would do it but i i truly do believe that go when it comes to that almighty break, it's 100% going to be on his passive. Not like on his A0 passive, as in like, as Alf has mentioned beforehand, like it's A3, right? Because his ultimate is affected by getting uh, going to almighty break. So they're going to cater to gaining those dupes. So yeah, um, I'm looking forward to Go. I really am. So with all of that, Go is going to... Honestly, I'm going to have a lot of fun making uh, building up Go. Because I am... Because I mean, if you guys are unaware... The way that the developers have suggested on looking at stats is defense because go does scale off from defense and uh, the other two recommended stats that the, that the developers have recommended are crits critical rate and crit hit damage which is fantastic for me i will gladly take that so and so i i think for me personally it's going to be those three along with attack i'm telling you right now i'm catering to defense and then I'm going straight to like offensive stats. I'm, I'm making my go hit hard. So um, in terms of the sets that you want to look out for, um, again, staying the obvious, Burning Greed. It's the highest level uh, artifact will provide you with the most stats. And again, it does support um, not only go himself, but Chaiyan, since Chaiyan is going to be the DPS character for the light attributes. Now, Warmonger is also a nice little touch to have. Um, obviously, with this set, as you guys can see, it, it increases the attack and defense. So this is actually a nice little touch to have. So we can now cater to this set if you choose to. When the user attacks hit their attack and defense increases by 3% for 6 seconds, you can stack this up to 8 times. So if you have been getting lucky... There, have I got anything for this? Let me just quickly... Ooh, we've got an attack... And defense that, eh, I mean, I could, I could if I wanted to, but um, yeah, I think I'm, wait, what does, whoo, I, I will say that I can technically rip off my um, Jiwoo set, because I've catered heavy on her for the offensiveness and the crit support, so yeah, so anyway, um, yeah, so come back to the sets themselves, so it'll be these two, now again, with Go, you can really, really play it about, obviously solid analysis is going to be furthermore supporting the breakage i'm curious to see on how much of a break character he has on his kit and his passive to then if we apply solid analysis how quickly we are going to be obliterating um breakage bars of course so that will be fairly interesting to see um arm set that doesn't really no i don't think the arms i think the arm set just ignores right yeah i wouldn't say the arm set is really that necessary to be honest um to be fair <laughs> i'm just gonna throw it in here because it's doable it actually is doable. I mean, if, if you are really building him up in that crit manner and uh, you kind of want that offensive tank, I'm just putting it out there. I'm pro I, I, I am trying to get myself a level 75 toughness set going on. So, um, and I am really catering to the offensiveness. So I don't think I've got really much going on for like any type of, oh. Oh, this is good. Oh my God. 
I mean, well, the main stat is attack, but we are getting that 10% defense. I mean, I could still rock with this. That's completely fine. Now, there is that core play that he has, but I don't know. But yeah, I kind of want to see if that's going to be finalized like a thing. But yeah, Solar Foundation is like a 50-50 at the minute. But that's kind of like the sets that I would uh, consider. And then the left-hand side being the accessory side of things. So uh, where is it? Greed, as per usual. That is going to be playing out beautifully. Um... Uh, do, 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 do. I feel like trapping the field might be quite nice. You know, five percent per well, five percent attack increase per crit hit, and you can stack it up to four times. So that's a plus twenty percent being popped off. Getting that twenty percent increase in attack, I mean, that could be something special. Obviously, universally, the executioner shirt might be quite nice too, since Go is also going to be, you know, heavy-handed, just beating the living crap out of <laughs> the enemies. That's also an option. And I guess the X, uh, the Xbox set again. If you're really catering to the um, crits then uh, and then if you've got a decent crit amount then yeah you can really focus fire and furthermore pile on the expert set you know along with what min's going to be providing go to so that's going to be beautiful um but yeah that's kind of like the sets that i am looking forward to in in in, in the order that i'm kind of you know putting the class in the mask okay well i will gladly take that <laughs> what are the chances in that hey so Obviously, like I said, defense is what is fully catering from in terms of scaling. And then the additionals are clearly the crit side of things, um, bumping up his attack. I'm Again, I'm just catering to like, like damage increase. I'm really pushing forward for offensive stats, of course. So I just did this for the lols and it, it turned out to be, yeah, something beautiful. So I'm going to probably just uh, switch in and out Jiwoo's helmet. And then obviously I've got um, this beautiful i mean that's exactly what i needed so we'll gladly take that um but yeah i mean technically this could work so it's not that bad um the only legendary version i've got is this which actually isn't bad i mean oh my okay let's wait i, I kind of want to see something here i'm live recording this video right now game i'm stop 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 all right let's just forget that ever happened um so yeah over on the arms additional attack will be the main stat uh, i mean i've technically got things to kind of further help me out in the attack and crit region i've got this one that's giving me the plus two and then i mean this isn't too bad I, I will gladly take that mp consumption reduction so this is pretty solid i don't think i've got anything crazy going on for warmonger to be honest i mean if that gives me crit at the end then that'd be pretty solid if that gives me like crit or let's say mp reduction or additional defense i would gladly take that actually so that could work um obviously when it comes to the boot side of things if i've got the crits up quite nicely i would actually cater for the crit hit damage uh god damn i forgot i had this badass one okay well this is uh beautiful yeah liking that damn i got nothing okay by the way the reason why i'm catering to these two sets is because these are the two sets that i'm first going to be building up before i cater to the southern analysis toughness i've already got things cooking for that so i'll be a-okay over there um but anyway so that's kind of what we're looking at so yeah um if the crit is done up nicely cater to the main stats uh, or you can just further cater more to the defense if the other sub stats on the other three sets aren't exactly building up your defense then you can always resort to furthermore pushing that and on a guaranteed state so like for example something like this is just muy caliente so we'll gladly take that but it seems that i've got things cooking up for the both side of things so i've got two sets at the ready to switch around with so we'll gladly take that see whichever one benefits me the most additional defense defense plus one okay so this is I'm, i might just nab that loki i might just nab that uh off um you <laughs> if i want to i know that with my yeah i was gonna say with my champion of field oh god damn mm, i can really push for that okay we've got some options oh if only you were defense that would have been insane but that's actually really freaking good too okay yeah oh my god damn i do be cooking though so we've got some good good options that's pretty solid too um additional defense okay that's not too bad oh hello oh i think that was crit though if, if crit hit damage was involved okay well you ask you shall receive what the frick <laughs> that's that's pretty solid it seems i've got a lot of options for champion of field so yeah and then we've already got something cooking for um the break oh no what am i talking oh uh, greed side of things there we go Okay, so over here, we're looking for light. I don't have any light builds. All right, I'm going to be honest. I really don't have anything for light. That is crazy. But I do have uh, this bad boy for light for um, defense. I swear to God, if anything goes to healing, I'm actually going to cry. But this is overall pretty solid. But I, I'm really slacking 
So I gotta get some runs going on. So yeah, moving along to the rings. Um, I've got I've got this. I mean, this this is decent. I mean, we can work with this. This isn't too bad. Again, catering to defense. I think I'm gonna run two. So I'm gonna make sure I've got like an attack ring and a defense ring, and just kind of split between the two, depending on where my defense is at with my um, left hand side with the gear set to see how far more it's at. Um, in terms of if I could just fully now just furthermore cater to attack. Because even with the champion of field, yeah, like, I mean, this is solid. I swear to God, if healing given gets pushed up, I'm actually going to cry. And then obviously with the earrings, I mean, technically speaking, if I want to push more, I mean, this isn't too bad if I want to. I mean, I'm not really too keen on that plus two pen, but yeah, I mean, we can we can make it work, so it's not too bad. Um, this is solid. I, I, Jesus, I, I will say... <laughs> With the, with the remaining accessory sets that I'm going on, like I am finding some decent sets, but like for the love of God, healing given increase, is it me or did they um, rate like, uh, give that specific stat a rate up? Because it's everywhere. What's happening? It's like cancer. Get out of here. What the frick? Oh my God. Like I'm like, okay, this is good. This is good. And then healing is there. Okay, this is good. Healing is there. Jesus Christ. We need a sub stat reroll ASAP for the love of God. Um, but essentially, we've got things to work with, and uh, that's kind of what I'm going to be looking at in terms of stat-wise uh, when building up my boy Go. Again, it's just kind of seen from the gameplay that they showed us. Uh, there is a lot of potential behind the man on doing some good, good damage, and from a breaker to have a tremendous amount of break to then possess that amount of damage, especially with the support that he can then furthermore provide Chai Yen, alongside also get a ton of more support himself, through the team um, to allow him to do a lot of crit damage. Um, yeah, the, the, I feel like with this tank, uh, I'm 100% I'm leaning more towards to obviously make sure that his defense is up since he's going to be heavily, heavily, heavily scaling off from that. But then with the additional, I'm really trying to bump up that crit, the attack, so that the overall outcome is it's not just Chai Yen coming in, squaring up the enemy, but Go himself is piecing them up fist by fist. So. That is, uh, that, that's one of the things which I'm looking forward to. Light Loki on both ends, being tank and DPS, are <laughs> going to be hit hard. And Min is going to be in between them, just providing them everything that they need with all the uh, boosts, etc. So, yeah, I am really looking forward to Go. I am very uh, optimistic to say that he is going to be um, an, an insane breaker. And with what Alpha is saying, um, yeah. It, it, I feel like he's going to be a, a, a very promising character. But again, we'll find out in about eight, eight, seven hours time through the um, global live stream.